Hey YouTube, uh, you just missed like 20 seconds of an entry because I suck at this. Uh, yeah, charity stream today. Uh, Travis Mills Foundation for veterans of amputees and wars and painfulness that sucks they had to go through it. But I rushed out to them last week see if they could maybe sponsor a stream. And they said they'd do it and send me all the cool stuff. And I told them I'd see if I could raise some money for them. So here we are. Everything that we're gonna make today is gonna go to the foundation. I'll post proof on Twitter or whatever. So everybody's like, oh, you stole money. Cause that's the world we live in now. And yeah, I know the sun glare is horrible on the face, my window. I don't have a real curtain. I have a blanket hung up, so this is gonna be great. But without further ado, here is the Travis Mills page. The Travis Mills Foundation was started with my wife and I because we just were at Walter Reed. And I thought, you know, we should give back. We should do something. So Chelsea and I came up with an idea to send care packages overseas. And that's what we started with. So the Travis Mills Foundation is a nationally recognized retreat center for injured veterans in Belgrade, Maine. Our facility was a historic estate that was built in 1929 by Elizabeth Arden. She's a cosmetic pioneer. And we felt like we should give this place life, a breath of fresh air We've been very fortunate and blessed to have people that have been with us from the very beginning. I think what makes the Travis Mills Foundation different from a lot of other foundations out there is that we provide services to the whole family. We understand that it's not just a service member that was injured, it's also their spouse and their children that go through this. And we want to make sure that they can come up here and feel that they are actually taken care of. Because without my daughter being by my side, pushing me every day to get better, and my wife seeing this whole thing through, I don't think I'd be anywhere near where I am today. There's just so many stories like that that happen and it's, it's not focused just on the veteran. And it's not focused on making anybody feel that they have a disability, that they can't do something. This is all about empowerment, encouragement, letting them have confidence in themselves so they know, hey look, if I want to take these skills back home, the Travis Mills Foundation has found a way. stitched it up and sent it to his house. He's at home able to go out and do activities that he learned here instead of just showing them something cool and taking it away. We do our best to make sure they take it home. Just so grateful for the opportunity. Why it's important is really the growth and the expansion of the family and letting people know like, hey, you can still do things in society as a normal person. And we're just here to show you the tools and let you know that we care about you and we're thankful for what you did. And it's not just on the service member, but it's on the family. We are truly grateful and honored to be able to support the families that come to the Travis Mills Foundation Retreat Center, and we want to continue our mission for many years to come. The thing that's different about a verb. All right, so yeah, it's Travis Mills Foundation. <coughs> uh, basically, they do a bunch of stuff for veterans that have that were injured or just having a rough after coming home. True Good Foundation, I've watched the story a couple times. Uh, the dude's pretty, pretty chill, pretty laid back. Talked to him for a few times, talked to him a few times, uh, just trying to get my head under. To get a better understanding about the foundation, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's like an all veterans retreat, almost like uh, Shades of Green in Florida for Disney World and stuff. Not a lot of people know about it because of the circumstances of what happened to Travis but damn good dude that's for sure but uh yeah we're just gonna play some games today see if we can raise some money for him uh probably jump around a bunch of games it's hard to tell what we're gonna do but I told him I was gonna play like old games but I might play some like Assassin's Creed 3 and downloaded something else the other day I can't remember what it was but we're gonna start with the old Jack and Dax the precursor legacy because I love the game where's my life seen that all right cool <clears throat> well, I've seen it up real quick. That glare on my face is gonna annoy the death out of me. But oh well, I got a blanket hung up. Probably gonna try to 100%. But like last time on last playthrough, if you guys remember, 
I quit Spider Cave like two minutes in because I got mad. this game is, I'll fix it here in like a minute. Love everything to pity. We'll do speech 70. We'll do speech like 60. No, you know what? Nice. It's been a long time since I touched this game. I think the last time I touched this one when I was streaming it. <clears throat> Alright, obviously I have 100% of this game. And that's where I quit Spider Cave. And call Miles said that I gave up. Alright, we're just gonna do it from the very beginning. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of green ego. One of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. I wish Naughty Dog huh? would. Oh, stupid precursor junk. But they never will. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? Jack, I think we're in trouble! That audio is still loud as hell. I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! What? Okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine.
What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Exactly Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you going to keep yapping or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping because, in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, yeah, go for today. I couldn't help you yeah, if I wanted to. What? Right. There's only one but person who has like studied Dark Eco like long enough to know. have a chance at returning yeah. you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the, the sage. But, but he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the fire canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. All right, let's do it. Oh, this device forgot about the camera just getting us. Yeah, I know, I'm adjusting the sound again if you guys ever watch my original playthrough. I was always messing with the camera and complaining about it. The camera... And the settings. It's a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. This was one of the first games that... I don't remember how to roll. There we go. That's one of the first the games that I played religiously. Precursor artifact good. you can find. You need to collect twenty of these so I can power the heat shield for your A grab zoomer. All right, cherry lime ghost and Copenhagen winter green does not mix. Everybody wanted in there. Oh my god. Hey, you found one of my scout flies. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the lurkers must have captured them all. I cannot get that down right now. That's how you do it, okay. I am relearning, I'm relearning. Oh, 
That's Blue Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. I don't know if there's like one of the... I don't remember if there's like one of the uh, egg things on this where you gotta like, activate it. I don't remember off the top of my head, but oh well. This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling Blue Eco through your body. I'll be right back. I think my cat wants out. Cat was in here doing a straight snooze on the couch. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. I really, all right. That was a fail. There's probably gonna be some like really good clips from all this the from just me failing. The door to open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. I'm already maxed out on health anyways. You can jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. And that should be guys a rock 100%. Yes, it is. Jesus Christ. Notice how each blue eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can use its power. I did it again. Cutscene. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Ah, then no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out, Adventuring? Why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! All right, so we'll do, uh... the beach first hey, and then we'll go back what do you say you and i go cruising the on this and we'll and we'll rule number one i don't date animals ah uh, you don't know what you're missing <laughs>
Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so I that the to, eco is sealed back. Anyways, there must be a way to turn the capped vents on. Forgot about that. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Yeah. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Flies are always in red boxes. No, oh, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The, the first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boys. See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Must be AEP. Oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, oh and, and another thing. If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. All right, now we're gonna find my uncle. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journeys yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Alright, that's him. I gotta go find the Horus and activate that. Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. With her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island! Are we? Oh, we are, brother. We're going. Again. Got it. I think that's everybody I need to talk to on the farm. Oh no, the bird lady. Oh my, 
What a horribly sick little bird. <laughs> you don't look so good yourself, lady. Oh, sorry. I thought you were a spotted orange-bellied ring free. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flut flut near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff, and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor, and I'll give you a power cell. What a weird looking thing! I'll bet we can get this open if you power up with that zappy blue eco stuff. Yeah. Hey, bring in the cops for the drum right Oh, come on. Cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those hungry yak cows back into the pen all day. Already in there, dog. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man and try to get them back into the corral? Did I break it? My boy, you actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Run right up here, I'll go talk to the Oracle. So another discount plus top here. And there's one by the Oracle. If I can make this jump, mate. Wow. Oh, <laughs> 
That's gonna be common. Wow! Check out that funky sculpture sitting on the rocks over there. Jack series. I didn't like Jack 2. I didn't like Jack 3. I didn't like Jack 2 because of checkpoints. But I like that they kept the Oracle. There's a lot of deaths, a lot of fails. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do first. So I know I got the fisherman down below. I got the temple, I got a raid. Got the blue eco made it a lot easier on me instead of diving.
doohickey scattered all over the jungle must redirect the eco beam. Let's go fiddle with him. Another one. I'll go ahead and clear this area. The biggest thing that I mess up on in this game is I forget to, like, I'll miss orbs. Like, religiously miss orbs. I think I've already messed this up. I think I need more. Now it's got to worry about orbs and powers. So bad. Launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us.
right. Wow, did you see that? Blue eco vents have been activated all over the world. I knew there was a way to turn them on. There must be places to turn on the other eco vents as well. Oh, this ain't good. I'm gonna go in this boss fight with no health. Word. There it is. Death numero uno. Death number two. Oh, come on. I can't tell you how many times as a kid I missed, like, jumping on those leaves. those four orbs. Alright, so what do I have left? The fisherman guy. Fish guy is all that I'm missing, and I don't really remember where he is. patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig and now they're gobbling up me catch no matter what i try i can't seem to catch a single fish in this river Woo! baby it's your breath you think you can do better try scooping up river fish with a tiny net i'll give you a power cell if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters and then i'll let you and shrimp here use my speedboat to get to misty island he's want to try the challenge there are two types of good fish to catch. One, One pound, pound fishy. fishies and five pound fishies. Hey, if you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. Right. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers and you'll poison the whole darn catch. All right, I will mess this up probably three times. Here comes a big one. 
Luckily the hitbox on the net is forgiving. Almost caught that eel. Steady boy. Hold steady. You're almost there. You did it. You caught All right, only one fell. We'll take it. Fish. Not bad for a couple of land lovers. Here's the power set I promised. All right, so now I'm just gonna do the take eco beam, and I'm done with the jungle. Turn it down. at the next tower. Hey! We can follow the beam to find the next tower. Hello? Please?
Death number three. Okay, stun locked, that was cool. We should go tell that windbag of a mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam. Alright, we'll go ahead and do the beach. Sentinel Beach, I think it's called. Hey! Let's go check out old Fish Breath's speedboat at the dock! What a wonderful sight! I thank you! And the entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. You uh, want to make a contribution? Good. A, a sizable one, I hope. You! Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, 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 I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. Cool. All right, we'll go see the uncle real quick. I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, ta-ta, bye-bye. All right, so we have the beach to do. Beach shouldn't take us that long now. And Misty Island. gonna mess me up the most about the beaches of yours. Enough orbs to trade for a power cell. We're done it, Dax. Let's get back and make the switch already. Oh, now they land on it. Look 
Duncan just snagged a power cell. Let's go kick some big bird butt. Grab those for forget about them. Ahuga! Ahuga! Dive for those orbs, Jack! Dive! Really like the level design in this game, man. Levels aren't too overly big. Snowy Mountain's massive, and it's kind of annoying. Spider Cave is my all-time most hated. Area. before the pelican scoops it up again! It's a faster way to do that, but... Cool with that. fast way to get these orbs on this island, but I'm assuming it's grab this. Yeah. I landed on it really. That's just depressing. Boxer. Good to see you. Oh, let's use the cannon to blow. The usual, I felt that.
mayhaps. I like it. Dude, that fish used to freak me out as a kid, man. I didn't know about it. We were playing at one of my friends at well, my sister's friend's house. They were like, yeah, man, just go swimming. It's really fun. You know, there's a lot of hidden orbs, and I just get eaten by jaws. About my day. Well, I woke up, uh, ate some biscuits and gravy, and now I'm playing video games for charity. And drinking copious amounts of energy drinks. Box, I don't know if you like if I told you about this, but this is probably gonna go for like 12 hours. So invite your friends. Invite the peoples. Let's get some views. Raise some awareness for Travis Watch Mills Foundation. I don't remember how to do this. That's out. Let's try to get... My goal today is obviously raise $500 for Travis Mills. But also, my personal stream goal, I want to have 10 viewers at one time. That'll be my all-time highest viewer count ever since I started streaming three years ago. Well, this 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 part of streaming. Hey, seagulls! Let's buzz them for kicks. But you know, about me still drilling for oil, well, natural gas, but doing the roughneck thing, hitch life, whatever you want to call it, pain destroying my body, but it's good honest living. By the way, I did like the whole Nightbot thing that you were telling me about like years ago. I set it up, but it's called Cloudbot now. Uh, I guess they merged them or something. I don't know. I set up timers to like post stuff in the chat. I don't know if it's working or not. set up to like drop my YouTube in the chat and the trip and the foundation page that I'm doing a charity stream for but I don't know if it's working I see that you two have finally decided to unblock my collectors. 
I would offer my congratulations, but you have. Shut up, Samos. down here yeah ah. <laughs> why are they so crabby Please don't unfollow. Alex, if you don't do this, you don't get plot plot in like Boggy Swamp and uh. No, 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 no! Look, isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mom. Ah, not your mom. You see any feathers here? Oh, not at first sight. Oh. Snuff cup. Listen, boys. I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. Don't you do it, puppy! Alright, so this should be the last scout fly. And then those eggs, orbs, whatever you want to call them. Up top should be the last. I think. Let's see if I can actually get this done this time. That's what screwed me up last time. But we got her! Is that everything? Sentinel Beach? Yeah! Alright, time to go to Misty Island. If I get all the orbs, which I'm gonna get all the orbs on Misty Island, it's just it's gonna take me a while. Uh Good! You've collected enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells and hurry! My father says he's seen more lurkers around. Yeah, it's alright. Miss Allen's probably gonna take me a good hour, I would say, because what I've been up for, I've only been up for an hour ish. Yeah. 
Hey, your GDQ, you want to sponsor me, dog? I'll, I'll speed run this. Not really. Boxer, if you're still in here, you'll be pleased to know I am playing Sly Cooper today as well. Because this should take me five hours to beat. <laughs> mm, this place gives me the creeps. And trust me, it's a whole new experience when you're covered in fuzz. So, Sly Cooper is on the docket for today. I don't know if I'm going to do two or three. I'm probably going to do two. Uh... Think we'll make it back. Red Eco makes your attack stronger. I'm probably gonna do two. Uh, although I really love three. Boxer, honestly, uh, since you're like my, you and Whisker, my mods, so uh, I might leave that choice up Get to you guys. Whether I play two or three. up in the air for me. I really like three. I really like two. Definitely not going to do Thieves in Time. Well, Thieves in Time is fun, but... Hey! I see the sculptor's news! Ah, oh, little shit. Sorry, Muse. My precursor orbs are more important than catching you. I'm gonna die here very soon. There it is, there's the death. I'll take it. Well, uh, better you than me. And it starts me all the way back here. Jump right over it. Oh, there's the YouTube plug. Sweet. Now, where's the Travis Mills plug? Nightbot is working, everybody, if anybody actually cared. Now I gotta figure out where this cat thing, muse, animal is.
Oh, come on. to hire an editor to just capture all the fails for this stream. Get on Fiverr or whatever. Hey man, I'll give you $35 and a Hershey bar to edit my stream. And a 10 piece from McDonald's. It didn't come up here, did it? You little cat thing. Oh, why I'm having so much trouble catching this thing. right now I'm gonna hire an editor and pay him in a 10 piece and maybe a Big Mac if he's good to edit this down in the fail, uh, fail comp. for like 10 minutes. All right, cool, we got the muse. There's one of the annoying things done. Now I have to... I know there's like an orb thing somewhere over there that I'm missing. That was death. I remember when I said, hey, that's death. Yeah, that was death. Yikes. All right, so where is, before I like try to track this down and run it? Man, I hope you guys are all enjoying this trash gameplay of me, but I'm having a lot of fun. So I know I have to activate this one. Which cool, that's too that's decently easy, but I thought there was like an orb yeah, thing. Tried to headbutt him, that didn't work. Alright, we're just gonna run it. It's gonna be ugly, I'm gonna die. Let's do it. First try. just have to do the ambush I do believe and then wrap do a wrap around of the map and clean some stuff up oh we have to do the cannon too I forgot about the cannon uh, 
Somebody clip that. I think this is decently clear, but we'll figure out once I like clear the rest of it and I'm like, I'm missing 35 orbs. What do I have, one health bar? Watch your back! We remember what happened the last time we were here! It's an ambush, Jack! Yep. It's an ambush! <laughs> Yep, there it is. Hey, Jack! Can I uh, have your insect collection? I think that's 10. 10 deaths. 10, 12, 30. One of those. Alright. This is going to be the one right here. There it is. This place gives me the willies. Let's keep you out of the ooze, okay? boxes or not, but that'd be cool so I don't have to come back down through here. Like, something tells me I'm gonna have to regard this, but it's cool. Yeah. There's a lot of eco. Oh, 
In theory, that one should stay open, I think. Man, I need scalp wise. Yeah, like I said. Oh, it did not stay open. That's. Or do I have to get near it? I'm gonna die again. Man, I wish I had like a little bit more health. I'd blow up those boxes and be bougie. Forgot about him being down there. Save the zoomer section till after the cannon. Because, in theory, in theory, the zoomer section should be the last. Should be the last piece I have to do. Let's get it! At least I think so. Alright. Right on top of me. Yikes. Say good night, Jack. I always thought there was a checkpoint like on the boat, ship thing, whatever this is, but guess not. Man, I really should have like figured out how to do a death counter. That would have been funny. I am horrible. Again. Bouncy boy. Zoomer, go back into the Thunderdome. Grab them eggs.
Can you grab the ledge? Yeah, that worries me. I'm missing a scout flaw. That ain't good. All right, we'll do the zoomer section and kind of calm down. Yeah, no scout fly there. Oh no. Let's plow into those balloon lurkers and shred them. Oops. My man knew to get out of the way. There's a scout. Ah, I missed one. Now my biggest worry is going to be missing Precursor Orbs. That's all the power cells. Think. Good! You stopped all the mind dropping lurkers. They've been threatening the waters around our village for weeks. Bring your zoomer back to the chance pad and I'll teleport it back. Alright, get ready to be yep. I hope there's 14 eggs. Oh, sorry, orbs, because somebody's going to yell at me if I call them eggs. So, Misty Island took a little less than an hour. I could like I didn't want to, but I was gonna say I'm pretty sure you could death for it right here. The light, Jack. Don't step into the light. No, you cannot. So Missy Alamada took an hour now because of my stupidity. 
But hey, that's why we play games, right? Alright, let's do it. Man, I'm hoping there's 14 orbs in this Thunderdome arena death chamber. Bring it on! Really hoping right now. Let's go! Just to confirm, we got the muse in the bag. Scout flies are collected. Get off Misty Island. Let's say anybody know where the boat is? So now I gotta go talk to the Oracle, get those two power cells, and I think that's it for this first world. Too early for another ghost energy drink. Asking for a friend. Hurry up with those power cells. I'm waiting at the head of Fire Canyon, Canyon at the top of the cliff the behind the farmer's house. Nobody's seen that. I didn't just fall to nothing. bathroom break here before I do fire canyon oh my muse you saved her oh you really are the best here take this power cell I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back thirty two how I did that, but we're going to run with it and act like it didn't happen. Almost did it again. For your gift, another power cell is yours. Worthy. Here is a power cell. Alright, quick synopsis Sandover Village, that's all. I'm Sentinel, Forbidden Jungle, Misty Island. We'll go activate Fire Canyon and then I'll we'll blow my eardrums out on the startup. We'll take a quick two, three minute break. Then we'll run Fire Canyon, do the next world, and then do the final world. You gotta bring in the crops for the dreamer. Oh, 
All right, we will be right back. All right, gamers, we're back. Got the swing part roads. Gamer fuel, you know. Let's do it. Great! You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees. So try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire cannon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! All right, here we go. Hit those balloons to cool off. There's scout flies out here, too. Woo, see if we can catch air off those lurkers. I don't suppose to hit the blue eco bins, but I missed it. Use the hot turn to steer harder. Right on 
think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the Blue Sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, Morgan no, Town. I mean Rock I'm Village is wins. being bombarded with flaming boulders. Oh, and it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're going to need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers, then come back and give us an update. And take the fur ball with you. All right. Apparently, the precursor structure just off the coast leads to an underwater lost city. The Blue Sage has been trying to figure out how he can bring one of the chambers to the surface, but he was never successful. You should check it out. Uh, aren't there a lot of um, lurker sharks in that water? Why? Are you scared? Yeah, I am. Me? Of course not. Just looking out for Jack here. You, uh, you know what a chicken he can be. Well. If you swim out over the coral reef, I doubt the lurker sharks will bother you. They don't like shallow water. Well, the situation here stinks worse than a lurker's armpit. Before Blue Sage's disappearance, he journaled significant trouble in all of the surrounding areas. A particular interest to me is the dark eco-infection of some innocent plants in the Precursor Basin. Kira will teleport your Agrav Zoomer to the nearest transpad. Ride the Zoomer to a green eco-vent, and then carry the green eco to the corrupted plants. That should heal them. Don't miss a single plant, or the infected ones will slowly reinfect the healthy ones. You got a ball. And Daxter... Start cleaning up in here, and don't forget the corners. Did you swim out to the lost precursor My city? Bad. You should really try and raise the room the blue sage was after. Get that levitator to work. I don't think there's anything back there, but if I'm lost, I'll go check. Until we find out why the blue sage disappeared. You're going to need to collect 45 power cells to fuel his machine. Go get him. Go get him, tiger. Interesting. You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We asked you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the Precursor Basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We care. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. You got it, Bowser. Fair enough? Good talk to Oracle to activate that. Beware of the dark light, for it has twisted the fate of one of you. Bring me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Oh, some Jack and Daxter lore for you. He's not talking about Daxter.
Good luck, boys. Well, that was a monumental fail. If I remember, this is a pain to get. But we got it. All right, go talk to these guys. Rocks have feelings too. She just like rocks have feelings. All right. Organs. Walk it off, tough guy! Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the boulder bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on! But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Steak? Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way. But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. True. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But uh, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh sure, and seal my doom. <sighs> All right, fine. Bring me ninety precursor orbs, and I'll let the pontoons loose. The usual. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. Wonderful. You brought me the precursor orbs. All right, I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved with that creature again. My oh, man's got the force. You must be playing Hogwarts Legacy. Hero. I lost my short on this so-called hero's big fight against the monster up there. Well, trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That wager pretty much tapped me out. So's, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. And if you're game, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time racing Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. But that I'll give you another power set. You got it, boss. <laughs> oh, yeah! These drums will help me win my way back out of this barrel. Here's the power cell, I promise. Alright, we're probably gonna do Precursor Basin. Or Precursor Basin. Oh, uh, the Lost City, Lost Temple, whatever it's called. First. Let's say, can you double jump, homie? Swamp is relatively pretty straightforward because it's kind of linear. Oh, 
Ay. Scuffler. Village. I'm gonna do a quick run around and see if I can find that last scout. Just to ease my brain. Precursor base and I see not an easy one for this area or world or whatever you want to call it. bad but I'm gonna die a lot but the part where you gotta slide down that tube I'm gonna have to redo it like 20 times Yeah, I deserve that one. I'm like, uh, such a... Yuck. Revenant? Well, there's that one, done. 
Yeah, you know, first area complete out of like 12 of this. I'm sure I'm gonna have to go back in here and redo a bunch of stuff as well. Well, that was a fail. Okay. We're not gonna talk about it. Peace. Try to cheese it, didn't work. Done. 
So then after I do these three, I guess you'd call them challenges. Clean up the bottom. Then move on to the next area thing. to death. supposed to go first. Oh, that's the collar platforms, I'll do that one. Yeah! 
Misjudge that jump. How about we take it easy on those hot pipes? Death number 386. Switch on all those platforms or something. Yeah, now I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, oh, you could just jump from like this one to this one and it would have fixed your problem. If you unlock it, you still have to follow the code. That's a death. Cause that's how you get back. All right, we'll do this. Oh, missed one. Trust me, those dark eco boxes are bad. Let's say, can I die? Oh, 
this part. Need a blue eco charge. And I, I did the scout claw. I then forgot to grab the power cell. I was super confused. Can I die? I done missed like three boxes. Oh, 
I don't know why I'm so bad in those sections. Just like in uh, SpongeBob Rehydrated, the Shell Mountain or whatever it is, like the snowboarding section. Trash. Alright, so I got two of them down there that I have to get. I'm losing viewers because I'm constantly dying, but life. I have a hundred percent missed that jump before. All right, Precursor City is done. My eardrums are bleeding.
to the top. Swap time. when you're powered up with Yellow Eco. Controls are very sensitive. from coming out. Boggy Swamp is linear, but it has these weird paths that will ruin your life.
That was just a stupid death. I'll say something really teary at the funeral. Like, how am I gonna get Shane back now? Thanks, Dax. Ah! Break the tongue's grip! There's one down. 35,000 more to go. Did you see that? Only three more tethers to go. Curse me for wanting to do 100%. I just want to make sure I cleared this before I run ahead because you will ruin your life. Wow! Only two more tethers. Got it.
there's a tether. That's cool. We'll think the other one's Jambos. That's Ridgeable's barely hanging on. Let's find the last. Stop you right there, Dax. Okay, run back over here to the ambush. The no health ambush. Look out, Jack! It's an ambush! Man, I couldn't stay in flood blood missions. This one's not bad, but... The one up Snowy Mountain is horrible. Did not know it was that low on health. I was right behind you, Jack! Really, I was. Ouch. Run away, Jack! Man, I'm happy I did have to go back because I didn't even see that part. I did have to go back. Ow. 
I have no words about what I just did. So sometimes you can beat that, but obviously I can't. Beautiful swamp. Oh, whiskey's in here. These here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Anyway, I got bigger problems now. Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on. Scaring away my pet hip hog, Farley. He's been missing for nigh on to a coon's age. I've been putting out his favorite snack. <laughs> what are you talking so about, boy? Swamp rats keep stealing. That's yeah, literally Boomhauer. If you could keep those pesky critters away long enough, I just know Farley will smell them vitals and come back. Will you help me out? Good. Good. Those rats will be back any time. Shoot all them rats. Keep him from eating at least one of them snacks. He's literally boom hour. Didn't even see him. Oh! We just gotta know all about blown axles. Especially in my truck. See if I can butcher this last second. Whisk, I've been without get my up, truck for like up. two and a half months now. It's great. Get him. Get him! 
put new tires on it, man. You know, shop it's at. So like, yeah, man, you're good to go. It's been like two, three months. You sure know how to shoot. Thanks a heap for the help. Hopefully these are the last orbs. Oh, four series. Is that the one that you can punch the dash and it'll explode? Because the plastic is so cheap? Ah, oh, who am I kidding, dog? It's a dodge. You're gonna like look at it, it's gonna break down. That's the 98. Bye-bye, Tether. C-10s. <laughs> Good work, Jack. Your uncle would be proud. That was a giant arm from a precursor robot. I've never seen one in such good condition. I can't imagine what the lurkers wanted with it. But we sure didn't want them to get it. If you keep this success up, nah, you'll still fall short of hero. But keep trying. It's endearing. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm missing a bunch of orbs. jump. Oh yeah, I'm missing, what, six? Tens are, in fact, good trucks, man.
I wonder what something you do here. Geologist, cool. Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. Go see Mr. Oracle over here. Here is another power cell for your quest. For your sacrifice, I offer you a power cell. Precursor base. This one's probably gonna take me a decent amount of time. There's a lot to do down here. Missed that one. Cost me the run right there. Woo! We beat the record time. Man, frame rate is taken just dying. Lurkers. He might have a power cell. Man, I can't wait to do these ring challenges and fail them a thousand times. to cheese it. That didn't work. I didn't jank to the left. Come on. Now 
now that that's taken care of. Live. Come on. Alright, we'll do the eco plants now. Forgot about those. Those must be the infested plants old Log Noggin was talking about. I can't even hit the eco bit. That went all my progress. I always hated this. I don't know why. Because it's easy. like recursive base won't take me all of an hour. Might be looking like two hours. You haven't missed much, miss it, just me failing aggressively.
Yikes, there's another one. Lurker. Mo-rat things. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna jump right into that box. Nope, all right. Woo. All right, that's the easy one. Four Mystic, do your thing, brother.
Oh, come on, you ran right past your hole. Let's go get our power cell from the geologist. Alright, so, that's done. I'm gonna get health and I'm gonna get the blue rings that suck. I really just did that. That's fine, we're good. We are not good. Come on. Quick! You've got to fly through each ring before they turn off. Don't remember what I said. This sucks. I just get I don't even know where that one spawned. Okay. Give her another shot. I'm sure I had that problem last time. I did not know where that one spawned. I didn't even jump. Yeah! 
It didn't even jump, and it shot over it. jumped over one like that. I had two followers, sorry, been in this ring challenge. I'll show y'all out in a second. Tap, but uh, strange, stranger scientist, thanks, dude. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the follow. Sorry, I didn't get to shout you out immediately. But... <laughs> Still in here, Mr. Scientist. We stream when we can, how we can. I work out of town, so I'm never really home anymore. But hey, we do what we can to support the cause. Today we're doing a charity stream for Travis Mills Foundation, via those who have don't know what it is. Veteran charity organization, all nonprofit. They support veterans that, you know, PTSD, injuries, stuff like that. Real nice place up in Maine. And figured, hey, I'll give them a shout out, see if they want me to maybe try to raise some money for them. And they said, absolutely, let's do it. Thanks for hanging out, guys. We still got another like nine and a half or eight and a half hours to go. Uh, we're gonna play this. We're gonna jump in, probably play some Sly Cooper, and then after that, we might just do some Call of Duty. Might play some Call of Duty after that, or we might play some Assassin's Creed. I don't know yet. Here, once we defeat the claw and do the basin challenge thing, uh, I'm gonna take a quick lunch break, grab a plate of food, come in here, chit chat with you guys. Oh, great moves, kid. I knew that time record would fall. Now, here's your power cell, and I can go collect my big payoff. Just lost three viewers in eight seconds. Word. Interesting. Str Thank you for saving those moles. That's awfully good of you. Here's a power cell to help you out. Now I can get back to my research. All right, let's make sure that's all of them. Rock Village, yes. Precursor City, yes. Boggy Swamp. Yup, yup, yup. Sweet. I think you only need 72 power cells to beat the game, too. Do 
But hey, we're going for the 100%. Unless Spider Canyon, Cave, whatever it is, makes me real mad. Great! You have the cells for the machine. They ought to provide enough power to lift that boulder. There we go. Now be careful facing that monster lurker at the top. Wait! Uh... I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think you're ready to handle that monster without me. Oh, really heroic of you. This is going to be so fun. Alright, here we go. Last time I did this, I died a bunch. Main reason why I died is because I missed that jump right there. I'm out of here. So close. All right, round two. Let's see if I can do it right this time. Ooh. 
First try. Great work! The people of Rock Village are breathing a collective sigh of relief. But there's no time to celebrate. Use your zoomer to navigate the mountain pass up ahead. Be careful. It looks like the lurkers have rigged the whole pass with explosives. When you reach the volcanic crater, be sure to visit the Red Sage's lab and activate the teleport gate so that Father and I can join you. Yep, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the mountain pass, go back and get all the orbs and the scout flies, and then we will do a food break. I'll come in here, eat bowl food, talk to you guys for a little bit, and then we'll get back to it and do the last oh two areas. Those lurkers must be headed for a detonator at the end of the canyon. If they reach it before you do, they'll blow up the entire pass. You've got to beat them there and destroy the detonator, or it's all over. So, we're gonna go back and get all the orbs and the scout flies. miss anything either so that's kind of kind of bad I know I can't get that power cell until I finish Snowy Mountain, but unless I gotta clean up. That is Mountain Pass done. 
other than the uh, power cell, so, okay, get. Volcanic crater. Oh, I always wonder if I'm losing body parts in those things. Holy yakow! The Red Sage's lab looks worse than the Blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the Dark Eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the Blue and Red Sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends, you old fool. They're perfectly safe in our Citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eco can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eco by itself. Even the precursors. Until wouldn't now, we've do. had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, but we will soon. have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes. The silos, they will be opened, and all the dark eco of the world will be ours! But that's impossible! Only a precursor robot- Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. Yikes. <laughs> Doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna go make a plate of food real quick, and then we'll be back to kind of hang out. Be back in like two, three, four minutes.
Shout out to the one viewer still. Pain. Gonna eat some food and hang out. Yeah, YouTube, if you want to, for those watching on YouTube, if anybody is, if you want to skip ahead like 20 minutes, you'll probably be back to gameplay. Unless you guys are weird and just want to watch me eat little smokies. I did not know they did animations.
Manners are great. <clears throat> a little smoky grape jelly and sweet baby rays. Best meal in the world. Wash her down with ghost and we're good to go. Let's get back at it. <sighs> Jack, I get it. You're tired, man. But old dad had to eat. Old Dad's still eating because Old Dad should be fat. Alright, bottle. Let's get back at it. Another <clears throat> eight hours to go. want to like <clears throat> this area It's like World Hub, man. It's top notch. Well, this isn't my favorite area. But man, they did this area good. Dark eco crystals? I don't know what I was stuck on. the complete wrong way. Gems. We got four of them. Uh, you want them? What 
bird brain here is trying to say is, we may have a few power cells laying around, and we might be willing to part with them for 90, because 90 orbs. orbs each. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? Got him. Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Have four? Three or four. Well, that's how I got to the Oracle, so we'll go towards the gondola, jump over, jump to the railroad tracks, collect the oars, collect scout flies, and go up the mountain. I've reactivated the gondola. It can take you to Snowy Mountain. Use it whenever you want. Hey, guys, by my calculations, it's going to take 72 power cells to fuel the heat. Well, we can beat the game. the lava on the way to Gaul and Maya Citadel. I just think it's funny that you can literally beat the game without ever touching this last area. 100% the first two areas and then you're golden. All you have to do is buy orbs or buy power cells. Yeah, literally. But hey, I said we're gonna try to 100% this. Yeah, Spider Cave just makes me mad I'm out. I don't wanna sit here and spend like Two, three hours on spider caves. It was just, it's confusing. Like there's no real path to take. finish this area to go to the Snowy Mountain because of the fireball. Eco. Woo! About fell in the lava. Go back to the guy that's mining that gym out. If I wanted to. But I'll go ahead and go to Snowy Mountain. Yeah, I'd say Snowy Mountain's probably going to take me an hour and a half. I would say an hour and a half. Spider cave, two hours.
So we're probably looking at we're looking at four hours total gameplay for this area, maybe. Did my audio break? No, nah, we're good. Oh, here we go. really teary at the funeral. Like, how am I gonna get changed back now? Ice ones are painful. Try to cheese it. Okay. 
Now for my favorite part of the game. Yeah, I did that. Now I can go finish Mountain Pass after this. painful.
okay, so it just loops around. I do the fourth build again.
Y'all do remember this part. <clears throat> this part is so annoying. Everybody cover your ears, headphone warning. Yeah, that same platform now is confused. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
He just deserves to live. I'm out, done. Thank. Yep, the Snowy Mountain is done. Now we got lava tube and spider cave. Now I gotta remember how to get out of here.
want to talk to the miners? Their last three? I think I have enough. for those orbs of yours. Ugh. Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Thing from except that one, yeah. The one at the entrance that so you gotta get the spider cave yellow eco for. Alright, spider cave. Anybody is here from my last playthrough, they know how much I love Spider Cave. Citadel's not bad. There's not a lot to collect, but same old rigor, right? There's just, you gotta be good at timing.
Is there one right behind me that I missed? Yes, there is. Level design, man, it's pretty clean. Ten dollar tip, dude. Thank you, and the follow. Thank you for donating to Travis Mills. That's okay. Thank you, Connor. That's first donation of the stream. I really appreciate it, dude. Missing one somewhere, too. I don't know. all the spider things. Now I'll just have to go back through and collect all the orbs they dropped. The power cell, obviously. Come <laughs> on. 
Wow, that was top tier gaming right there. That was straight Chad moment. mean to do that, but it kind of worked, I think. Maybe you can shoot better if you aim through your goggles. Shut up, Dax. <laughs> that was aggressively loud. in this area if not we know where to come for missing something Here, just well, probably gonna Get some power juice first. I don't even know where the nearest eco bin is. Oh, 
I really miss orbs over there, wow. what just happened. Another one. Alright, so that little outcropping is done. Now time to go back to where I was where I need fireballs to open that chest. <laughs> I'll take it. Really? 
Here we go. Was it down this way? Yes, it was. And I've already gotten lost. There it was. Okay, so it's that way. Check up here real quick for some orbs. was the last dark eco crystal all right crystals are done sweet let's just check the progress so scout flies obviously not doing too good on the eggs Not double jump. Silly. I 
did the same thing. All I'm doing here is making sure I got all the boxes. I told you guys, spider cave will take me all of two hours. Try to do this. This is gonna just be painful. Yeah, I really don't know how to like flip it backwards to go up. that All right, let's check it out yep top of the thing hopefully there's 97 orbs on this contraption Take it down. Didn't go down far enough. Jump 
too early. way downtown. I think this is where I like rage quit last time. Oh, when I streamed it last time. Pretty sure it's where I rage quit last time. Got like halfway up, I kept falling. I was like, you know what? I already had the platinum. right there. Okay, I have to remember that. to go fast, but...
I was right there. Wait, what? Definition of pain. Okay, so you got to launch yourself up. Great. stressful. Oh no. Oh no, missing three. Gotta be back where the, the caterpillar wood eaty thingies are.
I can't believe I'm missing one. to take my time. Stop trying to rush this and find this last orb. I don't even know what I got stuck on there. This what happened last time. I was missing one orb and I had to like tramp all over this cave area. This is not good. Pretty sure I've, I've walked to every single one of them. I'm gonna have to run this whole level. Oh, 
you have to jump on that one to activate it. I just had to say 100%. I had to say I can't believe I did that. I just don't know where I'd be missing that one from. See an orb up there. So I'm gonna have to run the tower again. Or run the robot again. Hurts the soul, man. I mean, it's it has to be. Where you shot like the eco caterpillars that were destroying the posts.
there because there's none right there. back in the original area. sure I didn't like run right past it during my spider field rage. down here are 100% cleared. You right here are cleared. There's got to be like one that's just in the middle of nowhere that I'm not sure. Not 
Y'all yeah, get up to this top platform right here and do like a good like. Actually, you roll over here, but. Hurts, man. It's like I want to find it, but I don't want to waste, you know, like an hour looking for one orb when I know I still have Golemite, Citadel, and a bunch of other stuff to get done. Lost cause, boys. I think it's a lost cause. <laughs> Missing one over for a hundred percent. Sorry guys, we tried 100%, not gonna waste all my time on it.
so keep an eye on your gauge. I don't want to think about what those temperatures would do to your zoomer if the shield gives out. Yeah, the heat. What? The zoomer? Hey, what about us? Don't you think we could look for a safer route to Gull Citadel? Look, I've released more cooling balloons into the tube, so you can use them to keep the temperature down. And don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Yellow Sage's lab. We're counting on you. All right, moving on, new area. So now we're just going to focus on 100% of power cells. We got him. Hey! Where's old short, green, and wrinkly? This is terrible. Father is missing. I think Gall and Maya may have kidnapped him as well. Relax, sweetheart. I got everything under control. Under control? Lurker armies continue to grow across the land. The sages have been kidnapped. Gaul and Maya have gathered enough eco to complete their terrible plan, and to stop them, you're going to have to fight your way through their citadel. Uh, yeah. That about, uh, sums it up. 
You've got to rescue my father before it's too late. And Jack, be careful. Yeah, we will be. I didn't even go back to... the mountain and get that last power so anyways wow uh, good job me went the wrong way again Oh, it was all like, something don't feel right. Man, I'm all over the map now. I'm all flustered. It's about time you two decided to show up. Nice to see you, too. Do they have you mopping the floors now? There's no time for jokes, Dexter. Gaul and Maya kidnapped us to sap our energies to power their abominable machine. It appears they have combined the functional remains of a precursor robot with scavenged artifacts from across the land. Then they added a few diabolical additions of their own creating the one thing capable of opening the dark eco-silos. If you can free the four of us, we can use our combined powers to break the force shield surrounding the robot before they use it to destroy the world. Not the world.
the next launcher! I jumped off of it. I thought I was launching. I did it again. Cooking up some muskrat stew. You did, Dex. We need Blue Rico to charge this platform up. Find more help. Weirdo! Come <laughs> on. 
Yeah, it's gotta be it, right? Phone warning, by the way. The door is open. Let's get going. Another one. <laughs> you finally come to rescue me. Do you know how long I've been in here? What took you so long? Enough. <laughs> what are your names? I'm Daxter. He's Jack. He's with me. Good job, Daxter. You're a real hero. You've got to stop Gaul from launching the robot. I'll use my eco power to help open the shield door. Let's go climb up those platforms! Alright, so I'm missing two scout flies. I don't care about orbs now because of Spider Cave just depressing. Come <laughs> on. 
Why can I not get this after all I've done this day? Why? Why am I having so much trouble with this? Oh, don't tell me I'm missing a scout fly, too. You know what? my green eco power with the other three sages and together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot yeah yeah that sounds like a good start and then after you guys open that shield what are you gonna do about the robot nothing daxter we have to keep the shield open it's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot oh great i get to help the guy that turned me into a furball Destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world. Then we'll try to convince Gaul to help Daxter. You're too late, save us. Once I possess limitless dark ego, I will have the key to creation itself. This is madness! Releasing that much dark ego will destroy everything we know. Just look what it's done to you! It has given us a beauty beyond anything you could understand. Beauty? Have you two looked in the mirror lately? Just wait until we open the silos, little one. You think short and fuzzy is bad. And to think you two traveled all this way for my help. Fools! Enjoy your front row seats to the recreation of the world! Jack! Take the elevator up and stop that robot! I'm gonna do a wraparound real quick. All right, there's my wraparound. Elevator. Oh, here we go. Here goes the final boss fight. Did that real good.
Eco won't protect you now. He don't take fall damage from that. gonna be tight. Do something! 
Looks like I may have been too hard on you boys. You do have what it takes to be heroes. But Daxter, now we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. Samos, you may have been right about this one after all. And Kira, without your help and ingenuity, None of this would have been possible. <laughs> Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. The Dark Eco probably destroyed probably. them. Yeah, probably. Ah, who cares? Bring them on! We can take them again! Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Wow! Put it on ice, big guy. I don't know if I'm gonna get like the extended ending because I don't have 101 power cells, but. We'll see. Just in case, I'll like wait through the credits, but I really don't think I'm gonna get it. But yeah, that is Jack and Daxter, one of my all-time favorites. Kinda old school, but... What could that be? Wow! It's an ancient precursor door! It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells. Uh, we're heroes, remember? We have 100 power cells. It's a little foreshadowing in the Jack 2. But yeah, that'll finish up uh, Jack 1. We're gonna take a quick bathroom break and then probably start either Slyer or Assassin's Creed, have not decided yet. 
So we will be right back. Cut the recording first. 